The end of the year holidays are a time of resolutions to become new, better versions of ourselves. But just because things aren't going according to plan doesn't mean you still can't have some fun. Stay tuned for Expectations vs. Reality New Year Edition. Getting Christmas presents from your best friend is the best. Picking them out and giving them to someone you care that much about also feels pretty good. But the absolute best is getting something you've been dreaming of. Kira, how'd you know I wanted these exact shoes? Same way you knew I wanted this palette, Chels. Hashtag besties know best. Too bad reality doesn't always match your expectations. And you can't always get what you want. Well, as long as you get what you need, no harm done, right? Hashtag great minds think alike. Best approach to decorating a Christmas tree? Google it and you'll get millions of search results. But we all know it's not what's on the outside, but what's on the inside that counts. What does this have to do with your tree? Decorate it with someone you love and you're guaranteed to get a result you'll be happy with. Then, honey, home is where the heart is. And my heart is always at home with you. Don't even think about it, Jess. You're banned from touching those. Remember last year when you sat on the box of ornaments and broke all of them? Hmm. I see how it is. I was gonna make this a prank-free evening, but you're just begging for it, aren't you, Ben? Okay. Babe, help! I've had a horrible accident! You broke another one, I see. Ben's been waiting for winter break since, well, summer. He needed a point to be an extra good boy, didn't miss a day of school, didn't turn in one homework assignment late, and even managed to pass all his tests. Honestly, Ben deserves to have the best vacation ever. Kicking back, posting his millionth photo of his annual Christmas party, and savoring all those likes that are sure to roll in. Unfortunately, Ben decided to go ice skating on his first day off, and to impress the girls with his macho self by not bundling up with a hat, scarf, and mittens. And now he's got to face his sickening reality. My nose is stuffed, my throat is killing me, and I'm running a gnarly fever. Why, Santa, why? Ben, Santa's not in the business of producing medical miracles. But I guess you can always rally for the party and give others the gift of your germs. Holiday parties are not just a time for having fun. They're also a time for getting dressed up and showing off. Of course, you could wear your token Christmas sweater. Or you could wear something a bit more fancy. That's right, Natalie. Mm. Flaunt it if nice. you got it. Unfortunately, reality dictates its own rules. Hmm. Like the fact that we tend to leave things to the yeah. last minute, especially during the hustle and bustle hmm. of the holiday season. Ah. Nat never actually made it to the mall to buy her dream dress. Hmm. And switching out a Christmas sweater for a regular sweater makes no sense. Which oh. is why Nat's gonna have to improvise. Well, this isn't exactly what I was oh. dreaming of, but silver does bring out hmm. my eyes, right? Those who believe in love at first sight know that these kinds of life-altering meetings happen right around New Year's. Makes sense. New Year, new life. Looks like Jess is working extra hard to help fate find its way to her door this year. If I just act like Cinderella before the ball, I'm sure to meet my prince and get my happy ending, right? Oh, this is gonna be my year, fairy godmother. I just need a bit of your magic touch. Mm. Everything else, I'll do on my own. Fairy godmother? Have you been kidnapped by my prank-loving roommates? Oh. I said fairy tale, not Halloween. Mm. Why spend 
spend money on gingerbread cookies when everyone knows homemade tastes a million times better. So what if you've never baked anything that was a pre-mix before? Surely Google's got your back on everything from the most simple recipes to the deconstructed Michelin version. Ah, the house smells amazing. And these look so good. A dash of icing and some sprinkles, and I'm gonna enjoy this one in peace before I share any with the rest. Merry Christmas to me. Unfortunately, unlike boiling and frying, baking is actually a very precise science. If you don't weigh, measure, and get the oven temperature just right, you're pretty much guaranteed to waste a bunch of time cooking something you're not actually gonna eat. Oh. Yup, reality wins again. Jess, if it looks like a burnt cookie and smells like a burnt cookie, oh. it's a burnt cookie. Ew. Time to break out that piggy bank and make a last minute run to the grocery store. Ho, ho, ho. Holiday selfies aren't just for posting on your IG feed. Done right, they'll help you preserve your warm and fuzzy memories for years to come. Merry Christmas, Jess. Maybe Santa will bring you all those likes anyway. Hey! Matt, check out uh. my photos with Santa. Which one do you think I should post? Oh. Um, Jess, I don't think you should post any of these. Oh. Also, check out mine. Ew. While you were having an episode of Shaky Hands with Santa, mm. I got a thousand likes. Oh. School is finally oh. out. Time to relax and kick it till the cows come home. Treats, presents, a ton of free time, seeing all your friends, playing dress up holiday parties. That's what everyone looks forward to every year. After all, the end of the year holidays are a well-deserved time to let loose. Rachel's more interested in the movie. Natalie's bored stiff of viewing everyone else's stories. And Ashley, well, she's been slaving away at the stove all day. And then there's Mike, who's managed to catch a cold and is fighting a losing battle trying to hang in there instead of admitting Christmas Eve defeat and going to bed. Just go to bed, Mike, and take your germs with you. of the perfect mm. Christmas present? Well, dreams mm. have a tendency of coming true. After all, Rachel was on her best behavior all year. Yeah. She even managed to get all A's and B's this semester, even in algebra, which is why Santa got her that notebook she wanted. Yes, Santa, mm. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Mm. And now for Natalie's turn. Last year, Natalie made a New Year's resolution to stop gossiping, and she's kept her word, which is why she's getting something she can't find at the local Sephora, the long-sold-out limited-edition palette she's been dreaming of. Santa, you're the best. Looks like it's Ashley's turn. Let's see what kind of luck she's gonna have this year. Ashley's New Year resolution was to lose 10 pounds and keep them off. She passed with flying colors, which is why she just walked away with a brand new iPhone. 256 gigs of space just waiting to get taken up with her IG selfies and Pinterest collages. Wait, there's more? Oh no, this is the reality part, isn't it? Socks definitely take the cake in being the most annoying Christmas, birthday, any day present ever. Right along with those itchy sweaters Grandma Mabel knits for you every year. It's blooper time. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you feel...